Korean heating system under. Do you know what is under? Under means hot stone in Korean. Under is the traditional Korean heating system. The under is one of the greatest inventions of the Koreans. It was invented about 2,000 years ago and has been only used by Koreans. Let's take a look at the structure of the traditional under system. The structure is really special. The warm air from fireplace flows through the empty way and makes the under warmly. Finally, the floor gets radiant heat from the under. So people can send to be warm in the winter. Nowadays, the under system is more developed, so in most modern homes, hot water runs through the pipes in the floor. Under is the predominant heating system in all Korean homes, even modern apartments. Because it can preserve the heat for a long time and do not cost much money. So, it is really efficient and economical heating system. Therefore, if you come to Korea, you could experience various Korean ondo rooms like under karaoke. This is under karaoke. And this is under train. And so on. Come to Korea. Thank you. Hi everyone! The unique thing in Korea which I'm gonna introduce to you is Hanok Village in Jeonju. This is the view of Hanok Village. The reason why I introduced this is because it shows Korean traditional building structure and also it's related with national pride from Korean ancestors. This Hanok Village was originated from national pride that went against increasing Japanese houses because a lot of Japanese expanded their influence after 1930. So, Korean people began to build Hanok, which is Korean traditional style of building. And here is the point. Most of Hanok in this village is in harmony with urban environment, structure, and tradition. So, it is also called as Urban Hanok. These special and unique values have become famous. More interestingly, you can enjoy not only the view of Hanok, but also many exciting traditional activities and food. For example, you can make a doll made of hanji, which is Korean traditional paper, and wear a hanbo, this is Korean traditional costume. In addition, you can try Jeonju style bibimbap mixed with some ingredients you wanna eat and bean sprout and rice soup in Korean, Kongnamul bibimbap with moju, which is Jeonju style alcoholic drink. Therefore, Jeonju Hanok village is worth visiting if you want to enjoy some Korean unique thing or have unforgettable memory. Thank you for watching the video. Hello guys, this is Jean. Today I'm gonna introduce Korea's delicate week. Usually, when Western people think of the most famous Korea's beauty product is wig. Why they prefer this one? Because Korea's wig is high quality and manually product and mostly, Korean has delicate fingers. So quality is much better than normal wig and also, it is very locked. So, you can use them for a quiet long time. Again, I want to emphasize that when it comes to quality, our product is much better than any others. And that's the biggest thing. Furthermore, 1960s to early 1970s in Korea, Wig was one of Korea's leading expert industries. It was very labor-intensive and equipment scale is moderately small. So Wig industry was high-value added product. And now, at the turn of the 21st century, we are making stylish and refined wig based on high-quality material and technical skills 
that suits the flow of K-beauty trend. Now, Korea invented the high-tech 3D scanner. It is very innovative and independent skills. Using the 3D scanner, we can do more precise and detailed styling. So, it can be helped to purchase to suit individual tastes. For example, their head, hair, and trendy hairstyle, color, palm, length, etc. And then, we did clients' hair up to suit their face shape and general style. Also, I recommend Wig Rental System. Rental system is highly advanced in Korea. Actually, many Koreans use this system because price is quite cheap and save the time and really convenient. And also, sometimes, some people just want to experience. So, if you need a week, you have to try this system. It will be a good exper experience for you when you travel in Korea. In conclusion, Korea has really good quality week skills and innovate system. So, you guys have to visit to Korea Try as many variety things as you can, and don't forget to experience unique Korea's week. Then, I hope you guys enjoy my video. Thank you for watching. I will introduce unique thing in Korea, especially makgeolli. Makgeolli is Korean traditional rice wine. It is made of rice and needs to be fermented for 5 to 10 days. There are more than 1,000 kinds of makgeolli, and they are different by reason. Peanut and tangerine from Jeju, corn from Gangwon, chestnut from Chungcheong. Each has a different proof and taste. Effective transfer system is crucial, especially if you are new to a country. Korea has simply one of the best transfer systems in the world. No one can deny that Wi-Fi zone is your comfort zone. In Korea, you can use cell phones in all stations with free internet connections. So you plan your trip in Korea feeling very excited, but what if you cannot speak Korean? No worries, you can listen to English announcement. And in Seoul, the capital of Korea, they have English, Japanese, and Chinese announcements. In Korea, the basic fare for subway is only about $1, and there is free transfer system for buses. What? If you transfer using another bus within 30 minutes, your trip is free. And this free transfer is valid for maximum of four times. Seriously? Just remember to take the bus with different numbers. Compared to other countries, food delivery culture in Korea is very developed. In Korea, people can order food anywhere, anytime, even when they are outside. An order is complete when someone makes a call and orders through the phone and says their address or where they are. This delivery arrives quite quickly as the delivery services operate usually 24 hours a day because Korean people like eating yashik, which means eat something at night. This is the reason why the food delivery culture has found its place in Korea. In the formal social occasions, South Koreans are generally adopted handshake as a meeting etiquette. Korean women generally don't shake hands with men and is often replaced by bowing or nodding. South Koreans in many occasions sometimes adopt the way of first bow after shaking hands at the same time. Say goodbye with others. If the other party is the person who has status, identity, South Koreans tend to salute repeatedly for three to five times. In the virtual, South Koreans speak a word to say goodbye. Thank you for watching this video. Today I will introduce the unique festival held in Korea. Have you ever heard about Mod Festival? Never? I swear that it is one of the most amazing festivals among the world festivals. The Boryong Mod Festival is an annual festival which takes place during the summer in Boryong. Of the numerous festivals in Korea, the Boryong Mod Festival that probably attracts the largest number of international visitors. The first Mod Festival was staged in 1998, and now, 2016, the the festival attracted 2.5 million visitors to Boryeon, and even more increasing. The mud is considered rich in minerals and used to manufacture cosmetics. Although the festival takes place over a period of around 2 weeks, it is most famous for its final weekend. 
For the period of the festival, several large attractions are erected in the seafront area of tension. This includes a mud pool, mud slides, mud prison, and etc. The colored mud is also produced for the body painting. A large stage is erected on the beach, which is used for live music, competitions, and various other visual attractions. So, there is no reason to hes hesitate to participate. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in there. Bye. I'm going to show you how to play Jokku with Korean soccer volleyball. You can use your anchor. You cannot use your knee. Just under knee of the heart. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Rachel. Today I want to show you and tell you about Korean unique culture. My topic is Korean restaurant bell system. Korean has very unique table bell. So now I'm show you about Korean bell system. Korean restaurant has many table bells like that. If you order food in other countries, maybe you should call waiter and say, "Excuse me, may I order?" But Korea has unique belling system, so you can use bell on the table. Then, if you push this button. Waiter come over and they take order your menu or bring water, tissue, something else. Somewhere if you push the table bell, restaurant show the table number. Okay, hello Grant Professor. My name is David Lee. Today I will introduce traditional games of Korea. This play is four sticks game. It is called Yunnuri. So, the game is Enjoy New Year's Day. Although, more than two people can play this game. Usually, it is suitable for two to six people. There are different kinds of two games board and throw the first six to above a game board. One team starts with four horse. If return back to the starting point first, the team is winning team. How to throw for sticks will build alongside or throw into a well shape. Usually, for sticks throw a little more than sitting height of a person. And for sticks exit the game board. The turn is on invalid. The result through first takes depending on the end called to ke call yud mo. To is go one turn, ke is go two turn, girl is go three turns, yud is go four turn, mo is can go five turn. In our country, the yunnori is known to have been introduced a long time ago and not yet reveal the exact origin or provenance. Entering the modern era as disappearing yunnori games, my mind is sad. I hope that people do not forget this first sticks game. Hello, I'm gonna shortly show you about Korean spa, Jim Jilbang. This clip is from Korean drama. It is traditional spa of South Korea, and everyone wears the same uniforms. There's a lot of hot temperature room which makes your body relaxed. And there's even an ice room, sleeping room, pressure treatment, and these are the representative food of Jinjibang, baked egg, and shikhe, and what's more, let's have a look inside. There's men's locker room, women's locker room. And have you noticed? This is Jinjibang hairstyle. Can you recognize who it is in the middle? Even American celebrity Conan O'Brien has visited Korean Jinjibang. Why didn't you have a nice rest in Jinjibang?
Hello, how many do you know about Korea? Then do you know traditional Korean food? I will introduce Korean rice cake. It is also called a dog. People have eaten it for a long time. In the early days, most people eat a rice cake prepared by pounding rice into sticky dough-like picture. Generally, rice flour is used for some kinds of dog. In Korea, it is customary to a sweet dog at weddings and on birthdays. Some common ingredients for many kinds of dog are red bean, mugwort, jujube, and other many things. There are hundreds of different kind of dog. So this is susubukumi in Chungcheongbukdo. It is a pan-fried rice cake. And this is a mangget dog in Gyeongsangnam-do. It is made with non-glutinous rice. This is omegi dog in Jeju. Its taste is very sticky and chewy. Now I show you some food with rice cake. First thing is dakgu. It is very famous food in Korea. People eat it on New Year's Day to celebrate the New Year. Dakgu is made with beef soup and slices of white rice cakes. Next thing is cheese garlic dog. It is a fusion cooking made with a bar rice cake and cheese. So like this these days, dog is becoming popular among young generation. Hi guys, my name is Jake. I will announce Korean traditional food. This is kimchi pancake. So I will introduce our kimchi pancake. Prepare like this picture. First, cut the kimchi shallow like picture. Second, for fine frying powder, kimchi slice and shallow in bucket. Third, add water. Fourth, add kimchi soup for time to wait them and mix. Fifth, spread by salt one teaspoon and then mix every step. Finally, heat up. Fry pan and add rot oil and fry kimchi pancake 2 minutes to fry. It will be perfect kimchi pancake. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. Today I'd like to explain soju that Korean enjoy drinking frequently. Recently a big company did a survey about liquor and 65% of the respondents replied that soju is a is the most popular liquor in Korea. Normally, soju has 90% uh, alcohol content, but there are many kinds of soju, so alcohol content vary from 30% to 21%. It's made of ethyl alcohol and add sweetener. Now, I pour drink. It's almost clear as a glass of water. But the soju smell like vodka. My foreign friends said it tastes like vodka. Also, soju goes well with grilled pork. Uh, it means especially samgyeopsal. So why don't you stay longer, or longer in Korea and enjoy soju? You'd better. Just be careful. Even Korean people get drunk easily after drinking soju. Now, you should turn off the video and go to Korean pubs or restaurants. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Today, I want to introduce Pebak, which is the style of Korean traditional wedding. Before the marriage, bride's family prepared chestnut, jujubes, alcohol, and some snacks. After the wedding, newly married couple bring those to husband's house. They bow to husband parents and ready to accept chestnut and jujubes. It is for fecundity. In here, chestnut means daughter and Jesus means son. We can see this payback not only past marriage but also today's marriage. Why don't you try it when you do wedding? Thanks for your time. I will introduce Han River culture. 
First, we can camping at Han River. Second, we can use food delivery system. Third, every Friday and Saturday, b a m d o k e b i Market is open. And we can see Han River's great night view and fireworks. Do you know your Korean age? When Koreans are born, they are automatically one year old. They are different schools of thought as to why this is. One explanation is that people think it's because the baby is in the mother's womb for nine months, which is about one year. After the new year passes, everyone in Korea automatically ages one year. Even if they haven't had in their actual birthday yet. Do you know where here is? Here is a funeral hall. Korea's funeral is different from Western's. Because Korean people think funeral is the last party and the new start. Of course it is a funeral, so there is some sadness. But overall mood is bright. So at the traditional funeral, you can see the coffin which is decorated by some flowers. These days, there is no flower coffin, but people still talk brightly, drink some alcohol, and play games. Also, Korean people eat tasty food like they are having a party. c h a p c h a e is a Korean dish so popular and delicious that it was introduced at the United Nations Food Festival in 2006. Traditionally defined, c h a p c h a e is sweet potato glass noodles. With vegetables and meat, but literally it means mixed vegetables. There's a lot of room in this recipe. If you like green peppers or green onions, put it in. If you're a vegetable lover, can you see this beautiful clothes? This picture is Korea traditional clothing, hanbo. If you wanna travel South Korea and see a side Korean palace. How about wearing hanbo? Then you are free, real free. It's special promotion for someone wearing hanbo, and it will be wonderful experience when you do it. Hello, my name is Hasan, and I'm going to introduce about the street food in South Korea. I'd like to introduce about the common Korean street food, t a k b o k k i s u n d e and tikim. I'd like to introduce another Korean street food, b a n d e g i and d a s e g i b a n d e g i is a larva of an insect. And d a s e g i is a kind of boiled snail. Hotdog is kind of fried d o g filled with sugar and seed. b u n g a b a n g is baked flour filled with red beans and special cast in it to make it. As you can see above, there are various kind of street food in South Korea. These street food are loved very much by foreigners who visit Korea for a trip. Thank you.